What's up everyone, welcome back to another video uh, Docker, it's one of my favorite apps It has many features that we have We don't have enough time to discover It's full of surprises and full of cool features I have shown how to install Docker on Linux Mint I'll put it in the cards I have shown how you can install Nix Package Manager on Docker but what if we can uh, what if we try to install docker on nixos here i have nixos let's prove it running this command lsb release it's nixos i did not install neofetch yet that's why i'm doing this so uh, the installation of docker is usually easy and simple just about I guess two or three commands just running the command to install it running the command to start the service and running the command to add the user to docker group sometimes it requires extra uh, steps depending on the distribution but uh, it's usually as I said to you it's simple not hard sometimes also adding the repository just like we've seen for Linux Mint uh, I said about Nix OS that it all depends on some configuration files usually as I guess of course usually put in a folder or a path which is slash etc slash nixos afterwards you find the files with like for example the default one is configuration.nix so if we want to install docker on nixos we add uh, to this file uh, some stuff which is going to be I can add somewhere as I guess doesn't state what it should exactly be so virtualization the British English uh, spelling with S be careful if you know what I mean enable dot true it's eventually a technology for virtualization or virtualization I don't know how to pronounce it if I'm wrong you put this through it says here that are, uh, there are more options available uh, all right rootless yes let's add rootless that one we need it because for docker if it's not rootless it can cause problems virtualization just like before British uh, spelling docker dot rootless dot enable equals true I don't know if this thing will, uh, will cause some problems since it's similar to the one on top on top of it which is this one maybe we need just we need uh, just one of them not both and then we it says here yes so if we, we when we talk about the step of adding the user to docker on most of linux distributions it's replaced on uh, nix os with adding this thing or this line I always say this thing but it's supposed to be this line uh, just to make it simple the add in this line to the groups uh, to the f configuration file sorry so okay so we will choose the second one because both do the same stuff stuff so we put uh, users extra here dot extra groups dot docker j uppercase be careful docker dot members equals and the username that you want to give it the access and double quotation mark the username that you want to give it the access to the socket double quotation you close it and the uh, square brackets ok 
Okay. Yes. All right. So the one that we have put down uh, down below here, which is rootless enabled, this one virtualization with the British uh, spelling S instead of Z. Usually on American spelling is Z. We will put it eventually. Sorry, virtual. Virtualization dot docker dot rootless. We need to do this because it's safer. You always, you yourself, you must consider doing this in case you just want to skip it. In uh, if you care about security and stuff like that. So here we put enable equals true. So the one we did before. This one takes its place. It's very, it's almost equivalent. And then set socket uh, variable equals true, like this. Okay. And then we got. We have to make sure. Oh, we don't need this one. This is for you if you want to make any container as a system D service. It's a. Uh, This is a uh, option for you. This is an option for you. You can do it. So I guess this is done. That's all we have to do. We will test what we have done. Press Y, enter, you save it. So let me show you what, what RTX I have done. Just to recap in case you, you weren't able to see it very well. You at least you can make some achievements watching this video. So let me scroll down. What was it? Yes. So we have. We, I made this line. Users dot extra groups g uppercase dot docker dot members, and that also helped me find an issue or a mistake here. And then I wrote it without r members. Make it with r like this. Yep. And then. Uh, you, I ordered this line virtualization dot docker dot enable equals true and then virtualization dot docker dot rootless equals and then curly braces enable equals true uh, semicolon set socket variable s and v the uh, s the second s and v are uppercase true and then semicolon and then we save <coughs> And then we run sudo nix os rebuild switch. I'll be back once it's ready. Alright, so my installation is done. And I checked the service of Docker and it's running as you can see. So let's try to pull some images. Alpine. I guess we need to log out and then we log in again because that's what they said. Oh, so let's try to restart, okay? So I restarted my NixOS machine and let's try to pull. I let's try again. Yes, so in case you had the same issue, just restart your computer and you will be able to use Docker as I guess. It's in case we did not face any issue here. Just in case you need to know that, uh, in case you chose your file system to be ButterFS, or BetterFS or B3FS, it's called these three ways as, I, as, as I've seen. You need to add this to your configuration file. Configuration file that I changed at the beginning of this video. You need to go to it and add this line to it. But in my case, I don't use BetterFS or B3FS. 
so I don't need to add that line so you can see that docker is running on XOS we are pulling the image of Amazon Linux and it's working as I guess so I hope it works for you as well and just in case if you wanted also to install docker compose it's install it automatically once you do the same steps if you do the same steps of this video docker compose is gonna be installed as well uh, let's rem I don't remember very well you know very well that uh, all these commands and everything Wait. name Amazon alright uh, I guess we are there already yes so you can see that my docker image is running I just wanted uh, to show you how you can install docker I've seen I'm sure I've seen in the dependencies docker compose so you can see that uh, when we run yum update which is the command for the package manager of amazon linux which is the image that we have already pulled on docker it works fine so that just proves that docker works fine uh, after following the steps that i've shown you on nixos i hope you uh, benefit I, ho I hope you benefited something from this video uh, I appreciate you following until this moment make sure you like share comment and subscribe to this channel I, it will help me a lot and cheers